Hello, I'm Warren Brown, automotive writer for the Washington Post, and today we are test driving the Tesla all-electric roadster. It cost $109,000, so it's not exactly a car for everybody, but considering the advanced technology in this car, carbon fiber, lithium-ion batteries, uh, and overall performance, it's pretty much priced uh, to accommodate the current cost of the technology. It's a fun car, not the least bit practical, uh, but then again, what roaster is? That's why we buy roasters for fun. This one just doesn't spew fumes and burn gasoline. It just runs on battery. Very quiet. Can you hear it? The handling is excellent once it's underway. Torque, well, the power flows instantly to the wheels. There's no transmission, no drive shaft. It's power to wheel. Wow. I mean, it really can go. In a way, this car is very necessary because it advances uh, electric power technology uh, in a way that so far no other car uh, has done. This thing can give you 240 miles per battery charge uh, for young, robust, rich automotive enthusiasts who are into advanced technology. This is a very nice piece of work. And at the end of your trip, you know, you want to charge, charge up your old Tesla, so you just take your card and give it a little twist, lock it into place. We at the Washington Post have a home charging station, or at least I do. <laughs> and we know she's juicing up because we have several indicators that tell us so. Here and over there, that little red plug. This is a high-end all-electric car. Uh, not many people can afford it, but that does not mean uh, electric uh, automotive technology uh, is unfeasible. It's a very reasonable technology, actually. Uh, and sooner or later, as we begin to get uh, components costs down uh, and materials costs down, uh, we'll get it to a point where it is broadly affordable by the uh, buying public, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, this is, is a wonderful start, an absolutely elegant start, but right now it's a niche car, but uh, it's a niche car that's very important to the future of the automobile industry.